A very good evening wherever you're watching us from. Glad you could join us on Sports Friday and Y254 News. Welcome and I hope you had a wonderful day. My Kia Strikers are facing Egypt in National Women's Volleyball semi-final match of the 2017 African Nations Cup World Championship qualifiers in New York, Cameroon in their quest to clinch the title. Malkia strikers have qualified for the last games unbeaten, but assistant captain Noel Murambi have urged fellow players to tighten the, the knob. This will be a repeat of July's KVB Zone 5 qualifiers decisive match in which Kenya beat the North African best straight sets of 25-18, 25-17 and 25-17 in Nairobi. The other semi-final pitting host and Group A winners Cameroon against Senegal will serve off at 8pm tonight. But with only the top two teams of the one-week tournament qualifying for the 2018 World Championship in Japan, the Kenya pipeline left attacker has challenged her teammates not to be carried away by the unbeaten run. The nine-time champions go into the semis on the back of the four straight set win. Murambi made the point loud and clear on Tuesday night after inspiring the defending champions to a 3-0 victory over Tunisia in the last Group B match at Palace St. Sports Hall. Kenya, who are chasing a record 10th title have impressed so far in the competition, topping Pool B with 4 nil racial after wins against Senegal, Nigeria, Tunisia and Democratic Republic of Congo. Centers Edith Wisa and Backsides Agala have impressed so far in the competition and Munala, who is chasing his first title with the team, is hoping they will hit top form against Egypt. <laughs> We wish the Malkia strikers all the best. In other news, Jocelyn Jepkos Gay did the unthinkable as he carried her tally to five world records at the Prague Half Marathon last month, which left the sporting world dazed. It's now rated among the highest achievements in road running as you brimmed with speed, endurance, and athletic power. Gay Lord Perez Chapter Chills Mark at the Prague Half Marathon in March that had lasted for a month. She erased 65 minutes.09 seconds and slapped a new 64.52 mark at Aras Al Kamai in the United Arab Emirates. In June, she became the first woman to run under 30 minutes, smashing world record at Prague Grand Prix. 10 kilometers and IAAF gold level road race. The 23 year old clocked 29.43, breaking through the 30 minute barrier and shattering her own record of 30.04, also set in the Zash capital at the Prague Half Marathon in April this year. She set a world best for 5 kilometers of 14.33 and route to that victory. That marked the fifth world record of the year for Jabko's Gay, who broke four 10 kilometers. 15 kilometers, 20 kilometers, and the half marathon and route to her victory at the Prague Half Marathon in April. Unfortunately, she did not make it to the nominees list in the 2017 IAAF World Athlete of the Year Awards. But luck would come to the soldiers' way as Kenya Defense Forces fates heroes and heroines at Isiolo Barracks today. Julie Owino reporting for Y254 Sports News. World 5000 meters champion Helen Hubiri has appealed to Kenyans to use their huge online presence to get her votes for the 2017 IAAF World Athlete of the Year Awards. 5000 meters of women. Obiri and Elijah Manangoi are the only Kenyans nominated for the Global Awards that feature 10 men and as many women nominees. They were selected by an international panel of athletics experts comprising representatives from all six continental areas of the IAAF on October 2nd. Three men and three women finalists will be announced by the IAAF at the end of the voting process on October 16th with the winners announced at the IAAF Athletics Awards. 2017 in Monaco on November 24. Helen Obiri. Ihre bietet sie um sage und schreibe vier Sekunden. 
Mali secured their spot in the round of 16 at the FIFA Under-17 World Cup India 2017 after an assured 3-1 victory over New Zealand in New Delhi. Wednesday's results see them finish second behind Group B winners uh, where we have Paraguay while Zealand miss out on the knockout stages after claiming one point from their three group matches. The Eaglets dominated proceedings at the Jawaru Nehru Stadium, hitting the woodwork on two occasions during the contest, and deservedly took the lead through Salam Jidu's excellent strike on 18 minutes. <laughs> Jemusa Trole played the ball back into the path of the midfielder, whose first time finish found the top corner of the New Zealand goal. Trole was a constant threat down left for Mali, and five minutes after the break, he doubled the African side's lead with a fine curling effort into the far corner of the net. It looked like Mali were on course to comfortable win, but New Zealand had other ideas on 72 minutes as substitutes Charles Sprague headed home and Elijah Cross to have the deficit. However, any hopes that the Ocean side had of a comeback ended 10 minutes later as Lasana Diaya scored his third goal of the tournament when he knocked home for the contest searching low cross on the break to seal victory for the Chile 2015 runners-up. <laughs> Dereva Hillary for Y254 Sports. Being stories will make the uh, discussion topic of today and being our Sports Friday, uh, we begin with a story where veteran Argentina midly fielder Javier Mascherano said on Thursday he will step down from international duty after the 2018 World Cup. The versatile Barcelona star who turns 34 next June is Argentina's second most capped player with 139 appearances for his country and played in the 2014 World Cup finals defeat to Germany. He's also a four-time runner-up in the Copa America, finishing on the losing side in 2004, 2007, 2015 and 16. Mascherano started Tuesday's 3-1 South American qualifying victory in Ecuador that guaranteed Argentina a place at next year's finals in Russia. He is four caps short of equaling Inter Milan legend Javier Zanetti's Argentina record. Mascherano joined Barcelona from Liverpool in 2010 and is under contract at the new camp until 2019. For Y254 for News Highlights, my name is Abdurazak Ingutia. Liverpool plays Manchester United at Anfield in the Premier League on Saturday. Liverpool will be without Sadio Mane, who faces a six-week absence with a hamstring injury suffered during international duty with Senegal. Felipe Continuo and Roberto Firmino are expected to be available despite a lengthy journey back from Chile. Manchester United midfielder Maureen Fellaini is also doubt to face Liverpool. Liverpool has failed to beat Manchester United in six Premier League games since a 3-0 victory at Old Trafford in March 2014. United have won three of their past five leagues visits to Anfield, keeping clean sheets in the last two games. Liverpool has lost just one of the last 14 games in all competitions. However, they have only one victory in their last seven league and cup matches. Defeat would leave Liverpool on 12 points from eight Premier League games, the same tally as when Bredna Rogers was sacked in 2015 to 2016. Jurgen Klopp has only lost once in seven competition meetings with Jose Mourinho. Felipe Continuo has registered nine goals and three assists in his last 12 Premier League games. A win on Saturday would give Manchester United a Premier League club record of 22 points after eight games. They have kept 17 Premier League clean sheets in 2017, three more than any other side. Romelu Lukaku could become the first player to score eight goals in his first eight Premier League games for Manchester United. However, Lukaku has just one goal in his last seven games against Liverpool, failing to register shot on target in five of those matches. Marcus Rashford has recorded five goals and four assists in his last ten appearances.
The English Premier League resumes this weekend from an international break with mouth-watering fixtures as Manchester United travel to Anfield and bottom dwellers Crystal Palace take on Chelsea. It's a Premier League classic. The return from international breaks always has clubs a bag of surprises on resumption of league fixtures, both good and bad. As Manchester United takes on Liverpool tomorrow, both teams have to worry about missing players due to injury. Manchester United might have to do without the services of Marouan Fellaini in the upcoming match at Anfield, who has been ruled out for up to three weeks with knee ligament injuries. He was substituted less than half an hour into Belgium's victory at Bosnia-Herzegovina and subsequent scans revealed that he had suffered a medial ligament strain. Fellaini is also expected to miss the Premier League games against Huddlesfield Town and Tottenham in addition to the Champions League tie away at Benfica. He was substituted less than half an hour into Belgium's victory at Bosnia-Herzegovina and subsequent scans revealed that he had suffered a medial ligament strain. Fellaini is also expected to miss the Premier League games against Huddlesfield Town and Tottenham in addition to the Champions League game tie away at Benfica. Fellaini's Belgium and United teammate Romelu Lukaku missed the Bosnia game with a minor ankle problem but was declared fit to face Cyprus on Tuesday and came off the bench to score in their 4 0 win. He should be fine to start this weekend. On the other hand, Liverpool are highly likely to miss Sadio Mane in their match against Manchester United and eight more matches due to a hamstring injury he suffered while on duty with Senegal. Liverpool believe the player sustained the injury while playing against Cape Verde, where he was replaced in the 89th minute. The Chelsea squad against Crystal Palace tomorrow will miss N'Golo Kante, who also has a hamstring injury. Shkodran Mustafi and Laurent Koscielny will miss out on Arsenal's match with Watford. Manchester City and Stock City are hopeful to have Fabian Dalf and Joe Allen respectively as they log on tomorrow. With injuries and hopeful teams to throw into the basket as the EPL resumes, we're yet to see what repercussions are glaring. For Y254 News Highlights, my name is Abdul Razak in Gutier. And now it's that time that we get to our discussion tonight. And remember to send us your views, your comments, or questions through our SMS line. 22162 is the SMS line to use. Remember to begin with the word news. Again, 22162 is the SMS line. Remember to begin with the word news. You can also tweet us through our Twitter handle at Y254 News Updates. Uh, with me in studio tonight, I am joined by Agu wonderful gentleman with me here i have uh frank i have abdul and i have i have emus uh if there's a spot in our country gentlemen uh that has always pleased kenyans it is athletes there has never been any sport that brings joy in our country other than these people who run and they run so well that they bring gold in our country and we've seen Helen Ogiri asking Kenyans to vote for her. she has been nominated uh, one of the world athletes of the year by the IAAF now what happens to our football teams or other sports in our country what should be done Kwanza, I think uh, <coughs> Ku improve na kufanya much more better. Then I think na kujia kwa ile ajila kujituma. Atleti wengi na pata na jituma tano na tumia resources zao kufan training zao. Of which at the end of the day na pata na zama tunda basi sa Kenya Kenya national team na pata viwanja viwanja tani shida umona juzi chant tu mnyanya njia tu kwa ready open the stadiums. So ile ile kitu tu na zote saidi ni Federation ya Kenya ku 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 kuingilia ndani zaidi na ku 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 enable zile training facilities zao ziko ready na na ku equip stadium sio tu I think na zaidi instead of just talking about them being enabled with facilities ata mweza pewa ziwe zipo facilities zipo zipo stadium and all that but support is one of the things that is in a factor into people's winning either they win or not that's what i believe is going to help the other sports especially football to improve in kenya ukiangalia athletics in silivokuwa everyone is always talking about it everyone is always thinking about it wanafikiria nani atashinda this time ukiangalia mtu kama helen obiri 
amekuwa na record nzuri sana tangia last year atamini ingekuwa kama I'm the one to decide kama ndio atakuwa the athlete of the year this year basi mimi singe singe mnyima ningempa kwa sababu akoneli bd record yake imekuwa kwa muda mrefu ni nzuri kabisa but all in all if you look at football i will not say that they have to also take money from their own pockets wajichangia ili eti ndio waende kufanya training ama vitu gani uta yani it just doesn't make sense to me i think what makes sense ni kuwa they need to be encouraged by the management kwanza that's all i think unajua talanta pia ni kazi you remember guys when we were, we were growing up first of all ukipatikana unacheza futa na mzazi kitu ya kwanza nini viboko football viboko yeah. so i think we need to impress uh, football kutoka chini unajua to hold up ma, ma academy so hata mkianza ku, ku, kupanda saizi unajua tu mse uh, to build vitu kama ma academy uh, first of all let me congratulate obiri for the nomination by the way ni, it's like it's like ni kenya me win yeah. unajua despite all the challenges that we, we go through kwa hii story ya, 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 ya sports Congratulations. Then story of futa uh, I think uh, it it will start from maybe from parents and maybe na, na from the government at a ho, uh, as a whole. We are supposed to you know to come together. Kutoka chini usi usianze kuchapo atio enda shule wachana na wachana na na kucheza ball ni nini. Yes, we should embrace it as a whole. I think to kubali futa pia ina inachangia economy ya Kenya. But mm. I think tukijenga unapata tukipeleka ma stadiums mashinani unapata ule kijana mdogo ule kijana mwenye akoshago kabisa anaweza gain access to uwanja acheze ball mpira si kama athletic athletics unaweza patana na mtu hapa hapo kwa lami anakiga unadhani amechelewa unadhani amechelewa job kumba mpira lazima uko na grau alright like uh, it's it's a bit curious pia kuangalia jinsi the two games compare right. kuanzia time ambayo watu wanacheza kutoka shuleni mpaka wanapokuwa kubwa if you look at football it's played more than athletics kwa mashule ukiangalia sports za mashule football iko nyingi sana lakini mbona ikishafikia national level inakuwa taaban exactly. i think I, i concur with abdul because uh, angalia tu from from high school eh? okay. high school right ni kama tukianzia maybe kunacha talents from from high school wase wa high school wanacheza nga futa poa sana yeah. so if if maybe the affiliated organizations zenye ziko zinaambatanishwa na stories za sports ziingie tu kwanza kwa 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 ma high school zianze ku fetch new talents i think when as atuna zenda very far but then mm. i i wish to ask this question mm -hmm. we have uh, kina origi we have kina ma mariga uh, these people wanachezanga nje mm -hmm. now when they come to our team how much do they contribute what happens is it about motivation or what happens to our teams mbona wachezangi because if you see at the if you look at the athletes wao wanajifanyanga training uh, at times utasikia si juu na trainee wapi so these people they train i I want to believe even the football teams wanafanyanga training but what happens to their training kwa nini tuoni tukua na impact the other day na ni walichapwa na na Iraq and we are like why do they have to fail as anyway yeah. by the way unajua acha nikwambie hivi eh mhm for the rig thing yenye umesema like the person like ukiona mtu kama Defo Kwaridi even though many people will say the guys are Kenyan to me is not a Kenyan because hata ajai chezea Kenya ajai fanya anything regarding to Kenya but tunajivunia ni so i think hiyo ndio kitu tumenyanyasa sana wacha niseme tumenyanyasa sana uh, ma players wetu if maybe tukiangalia maslahi yao on to look for a better place to look for, uh, for, a, for a better life then uh, mm. i think historia ya wachezaji then una... kuna na wale ambao pia wameenda wamecheza international games wanachezea klabu kubwa kubwa ambao situfanya hamu kule kule nje lakini wakiingia huku Kenya they want to show ubabe wao 8000 meters a, that was half performance was 8 hours 29 minutes 41 seconds in Birmingham uh, that was 2017 February uh, 800 meters and performance was uh, 2 hours and 54 seconds that's Helen Obiri for us so Kenyans out there please go vote for her online and make sure she gets this award now Uh, moving on to other stories. Mascherona has decided to quit Argentina in the next World Cup that comes in 2022. Now, what happens to Argentina? He's young, he's just he's turning <coughs> 34. Now, he's a good defense person uh, in Barcelona and center field uh, defense in uh, Argentina. 
what does that mean to Argentina come 2022? I think to me, Kwanza turning 34 is not young in football. <laughs> 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 34 is young in football. So to me, I think it's time I'm a cool quit. It's time for us to work. Okay, okay, defender. Okay, a defender for Numa. Na uko 33 uone Christian amepiga run pale utapata hamstring. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> <before> my, no, <laughs> no na retirement take me come time poor. Mm. Then to me I think Argentina kwa na players. Unapata Argentina. Argentina pia si atini team ime 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 imefanya vizuri sana. Hizi qualification hata za World Cup hata miss hata kidogo. <laughs> Masterano, Masterano <laughs> is a, a good player. I remember the guy uh, while he was playing uh, at Liverpool. Mm. The guy was good. Akachukuliwa Barcelona and then he was deployed to play at the you know midfield, defensive midfield. Jamaa kopoa. But now uh, at 34, Buda 34 nayo kidogo amelemewa. Kwa sababu unajua watu wanachipuka, watu wanachipuka. And then hapo mbele kidogo unaweza pigwa kanzu kijana. <laughs> I think uh, pia <laughs> Masterano so, kuondoka. Mm -hmm. It's it's good for for the team pia ili aje ai kwa mtu mwingine. Yule star ambaye ametegemewa akija kwa mzee jinsi anavyosema kuna wengine ambao wanachipuza. Mtu unapata anakuja pale ako na miaka kama 20, 22 and then anakuja kukimbizana na mtu ambaye ako na 34 years. Hapo kweli But I think sometimes the age is not a factor. Kwa sababu yeah. unaweza kuwa 34 kumbe ndio uko at your best. So maybe ukiangalia Argentina team right now they are uh, wana wana wamepatia wame shoulder all the responsibilities kwa kwa um, jamaa yes. tunaita Lionel Messi. Mm -hmm. so, no, no. so everything kama sasa hizi ukiona hizi hizi bao tatu alifunga juzi eh. Jamaa anapatiana pass but hakuna mwenye wa kufunga. So inabidi jamaa ako shoulder and enough hata remember the, the other day ali quit kwa sababu wali fail. Unajua ndio wakampembeleza akarudi. So I think wako poa yes of course kwa sababu tuko na pia the, the guys akina Otamendi Otamendi the, the Man City guy mm -hmm. ako hapo nyuma so I think hata akienda hakutakuwa na ile match effect that in is affect Argentina yeah I mm -hmm. want to concur with one point as at the miaka sikit because I remember in 2006 uh, Brazil watu walisema Ronaldo amezeka uh, and he is grown huge but that time alicheza vizuri sana mm -hmm. na alifunga mabao unajua unajua kwa defender na striker mm -hmm. ni mbele tofauti unapata defender una defend both but as a striker de defender ndo anafanya kazi mob sana ndo msifungwe msifungwe ndo anazuia zile mipira ukipata ukipata ile team ambayo iko na mawingers <coughs> wenye wako na pace itakuwa shida sana kwa team then pia to me i think mascherano ame ame ana retire vizuri ukiona amfunga bao tatu national team na ni defend <laughs> actually <laughs> ana ana ta something appearance i think yeah but the Nikon guy the guy also has a, a very good record by the way saizi is the most is the second most capped player for argentina after chavia zanetti yeah. yeah. unajua yeah. jamaa jamaa at least that record though iko too poor iko too poor but mm. but poor situation amefunga tu bao nane in his career but no joke at at the same mugani katika pitch yeye yeye ana defend mabao yeye ana defend mabao but una joke striker nani wanaitwa defenders kazi yao mara mingi kama ni penalty wanachukuanga mbona huyu akupewa hapana let me tell you in, in a football setup mkingia kwa pitch like everybody kila mtu anapatiwanga specific role mm. i remember like team ya chelsea kitambo mm -hmm. the, the the ends is akina lampard pene ikifika wanajua tu Lampard. Lampard. Pena Lampard. Pena Lampard. Unajua? Mm -hmm. So, alafu mafriki kata a certain points walikuwa na juggle in between uh, Drogba na, 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 na Lampard pia. So, ukingia kwa pitch, wanajua set piece, ni nani anachukua set piece? Ni nani mm -hmm. anachukua penalty? So, everybody anakuanga, anakuanga mepatua specific role. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah. pele tima anachezea Argentina, mm -hmm. awezi ampea penalty, wakose kupea Messi. Hapo ni ngumu. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. fair enough. Uh, this conversation still continues. Remember to send us your comments through our SMS line, double two one six two is the SMS line to use. And remember to begin with the word news or through our Twitter handle at Y254 News Updates and the hashtag is Y254 Updates. Now, uh, EPL Merudi, uh, majority of the players were Merudi na injuries. Taking an example with Manchester United. Tomorrow they have a game. Uh, Fellaini ameumia. Uh, now, do we have a weak point in Manchester for tomorrow's game? Actually, Fellaini 
to me was a weak point. So kumia kwake idaniumiza roho. <laughs> Let me tell you why. This the guy, the guy when when he was playing at at, at Everton, alikuwa na chezeshwa uh, defense uh, midfielder, defensive midfielder. So when he alikuja Manchester United, akanza kupushi wa forward, akanza kupushi wa forward. Mm. Jamaa na tumia kili. Mm. Unajua? So compared to Herrera na na na, na Fellaini, si 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 match loss to me. Ukiangalia okay, yeah. jinsi Manchester watakuwa anacheza kesho siati wamepoteza Fellaini peke yake pia they don't have Paul Pogba kuna uwezekano akose kuingia na pia Michael Carrick akose kuingia wote hao wako sehemu ya katikati ya formation yao so even naona watakuwa affected sana kwa sababu huo ni mwanya kuna yule Ander Herrera peke yake ambaye anategemewa wengine ambao wapo i don't bado mimi sijakuwa sijaridhika nao pia no, me, unajua we have matich Mm-hmm. Uki, ukitumia the formation of four, four maybe to say four two three one hapo hapo katikati unaweza patia uh, matich <coughs> na maybe herrera so i don't think there will be that much effect ya 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 nani ya 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 ferain it will not it will, because wewe jamaa wakikuwa pamoja na, na matich okay those guys are tall so all the area balls so walikuwa wanataka advantage so ye kutoka kwake wana let in maybe akileta mtu kama herrera yeye nani atakuwa anatumia urefu wake herrera anatumia akili yake so i think there will be, there will be a, a balance i think in, in jeria felaini i i i punguzi uzito wote kwa manchester unapata mourinho amekuwa akitumia felaini kama sub set ni starter kwa manchester mm-hmm. then unapata felaini amekuwa akiingiza zile time manchester washajua ameshinda spoko tu juzi alifunga bao mbili na kichwa felaini tu ni mzuri kwa kichwa mm-hmm. anaingiza maybe time <laughs> Tem unapata Manchester wana need to defend is zero boss ana clear corners ana try to clear so Fellaini uh, ule bado uh, uh, before tutoke kwa Manu a uh, tuko na Romelu Lukaku na Dani Sturridge wa Liverpool mm-hmm. nani mna makati ya who will score who will score okay let me talk with this uh, former Chelsea players <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> you know Uh, congratulations to Chelsea for not producing this time. Hey, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> confused. Pengine wengine hapo ni wase no? Nitamumulika baadaye. Lukaku, Lukaku kwa poa. The guys physical. Yaani ni jamaa anajua kutumia, anajua kujiposition. Sturridge ni jamaa injuries zimemsumbua sana. Though anakuanga poa kufunga na anakuanga sharp. But if I'm going for to compare, nezaenda na Lukaku. Lukaku is much better than 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 Masari. Aha, uh-huh. mm-hmm. Marcus Rashford or Mohamed Salah? Uh, okay, uh, again. Man- Chelsea 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 player former Chelsea player <laughs> Mohamed Salah. Though uh Salah ko poa. Uh-huh. Salah ko poa. Uh, Rashford pia. Salah anakuanga displaced very quick. Yeye ni mtu wa kutumia gap. Uh-huh. Nipe niweke kwa space ni run but ukimweka penye atakuwa sandwiched na, na, na defenders atatoboa but Marcus Rashford anaweza anaweza maneuver this way anaweza chenga anaweza peana pass anaweza peana cross Rashford akopoa to me hiyo mm. game i think venye mwanzangu hapa amesema Salah ni mtu anayekoaga ball kwa space aran mm-hmm. then pia unaona Manchester i think Phil Jones he game England ya juzi alitoka Kilimp so ako 50-50 ku game kesho then walikuwa wameform partnership poa sana na Oh my very cost. Mm-hmm. Okay now yeah. wame um, um, concede goals kidogo sana this season. So I think hapo Jones kosekana waike mm-hmm. salaam moja hapo tutakuwa mm-hmm. tunahesabu <laughs> kitu ndani. Okay. Lakini ukiangalia tukirejelea timu zote mbili Liverpool na Manchester vile zipo. One, uh, Liverpool wanakosa Sadio Mane. Uh, Sadio Mane ambaye ako na injury hivi sasa. Mm-hmm. Na jinsi nilivyokuwa nimetaja hapo awali kuwa Manchester United hapa katikati wanatashwish kidogo. Sasa mm-hmm. hapa tunaona kuwa uh, Liverpool kuna shida katika attack yao na Manchester wako na shida pale katikati ya formation yao. So naona it events the score so hapo kinyanganyiro kitakuwa kati ya wale ambao wana defend katika timu zote mbili na wale ambao wana attack katika Manchester United ili, ili kama watakuja kushinda basi wako na sababu ya kushinda lakini kushindwa hawafai kushindwa me i think shida Liverpool sana ni story na ku defend unapata games kama nne zenye wamecheza matano kwanza ile kuchapwa na Man City ile tano tano bila is <laughs> require defense yeah, and then tia kocha wao amekuwa am sana akilalamika defense yake i i perform vile inafaiko na perform 
So me formation Liverpool upanda striking I think kumtaneza Western Famino Famino ni mtu anapata chances mob but sasa afungi afungi mm. Yes of course uh, uh, Liverpool mm. wana suffer from your defense and defense yako iko poor but pia ukiangalia Manchester United they have not faced a real test when mm. wameanza ligi to me mm. kwa sababu angalia venye walipatana na Stoke City those guys struggled my friend mm. walitoka tu dogo tu mm-hmm. then akaangalia against Southampton Southampton walikuwa na position ilikuwa juu. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Then of course Lukaku akaangukia bao. But walikuwa me, wameshikiliwa sana. So I think for them traveling to uh, to Marseille side uh, Anfield mm-hmm. itakuwa ni bonge na na, na, na football. <laughs> then, Kesho kati timu kubwa zenye zitakuwa zinacheza kuna Chelsea na kuna <coughs> Arsenal. Mm-hmm. Arsenal watacheza <coughs> na Watford. Aha. Analysis. Maoni yenu. Mm-hmm. Arsenal wata make because Ata mimi I want to f- to believe hawaja kutana na timu kubwa kesho eh? watachapwa mawata <laughs> boss ukisema kesho kutana na timu kubwa unajaribu kusema Chelsea si timu kubwa na timu kutana na Chelsea tukadro zero zero ukisema kesho kutana na timu kubwa hapo unakosea kwanza Watford mm-hmm. okay unajua yake timu kubwa kidogo amja patana na Zito lakini uh, Watford Arsenal mm, mm-hmm. I think Arsenal wako form sahi mm-hmm. Well back alikuwa na alikuwa na injury but mm-hmm. I think ako poa sahi ako ako poa Ozil mm-hmm. pia I think ako ako on game ako on point mm-hmm. so I think Watford pia wata wata watashindwa tu kwa sababu Arsenal wako wako poa sahi all right to me mm-hmm. kidana mbona una kazi ya mtu Arsenal hiyo <laughs> game <laughs> we take in toilet team yangu maoni hiyo <laughs> team As- Arsenal versus Watford ni kwangu I think itakuwa cover kwa Arsenal mm-hmm. that's na tuna Mustafi atuna Koscielny but pia ukiona ukiona side yetu tumekuwa tukiconcede goals zingine useless <laughs> but <laughs> what for what for tutashinda mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. wawekezaji wawekezaji mm-hmm. wake <laughs> arsenal hapo <laughs> then i think for the game for crystal palace you know the bottom dwellers they, they are searching for even a single point na goal saba wajashinda hata moja even though nasikia wilfred sa amepona so anaweza cheza kesho mm-hmm. probably but itakuwa wakova even though chelsea okay nani amekuwa ame na injury ngolo kante but i think it will be wakova for chelsea hiyo oh, game mm-hmm. ya chelsea na crystal palace naunga mwenzangu hapa mkono mm-hmm. ukiona okay, crystal palace hawaja uh, win uh, pia i think hawajafunga bao hata moja kwa tangu season ianze mm-hmm. sasa ndio timu ambayo iko na rekodi ya kutoshinda mechi mingi sana kwa ligi inaroa <laughs> Yeah. So today right. to me, to me <laughs> naona wenzangu hapo watatoka na ushindi. Uh-huh. Ingawaje sijini ushindi, ushindi kidogo. Bonge la ushindi. Kijana hapo umekosea. <laughs> all right, we wish you all the best. Uh, thank you so much for staying with us to this end. Uh, my name is Deliver Hillary. Enjoy your weekend and wenye mnapenda football, aha, uh-huh. mkichapwa, msilalamike. Good night. <laughs>